Hello YouTube, my name is Plazukas, and the July Gotcha update is here, and listen, okay? If you rewind back a month ago, Tectone was saying, oh, Wither and Waves is not dead because it wasn't actually reporting the right data, blah, blah, blah. I've been saying this from day zero since I've been on this scene. Hoyoverse games are supported by their community. It doesn't matter how good or how bad a game is received. They make money. The culture of Hoyoverse people is to spend money, is to support the game. Whether you agree with that, whether I agree with that, it doesn't matter. Okay? And it's why games like Wither and Waves will die. No matter how much people want to prop it up, no matter how much people say, all oh, the data wasn't reported. Well, we've had the best banners on Wither and Waves for the last month and then the month prior, whatever, however you're going to report that data. And they're going to be like, well, it doesn't take into effect all this other stuff. Yeah, go fuck yourself, okay? Let's be very clear. All right? I wanted to make this PG because it's gotcha revenue. It shouldn't have to be vulgar. But at the same time, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swear one time, okay? Because it deserves that for all the naysayers, for all the people that are trying to literally copium their way out of um, a failed game, as in Wither and Waves. Wither and Waves will slowly bleed itself out because the free-to-play content creator community, even though, even though, and I will say this in this video, Tectone recently spent money on his Wither and Waves account, so it's no longer free-to-play to get the latest character, okay? So maybe the culture will change. Or maybe it was directed by Kuro Games for him to spend money so that it could change the shift or the tide. Maybe he was given some money to do that. Who knows? I don't know all the secrets behind gotcha and content creators, okay? I wouldn't put it past somebody like um, Tectone to get money from Kuro Games, though, to do that kind of stuff. But here we go. Zenless Zone fucking zero, okay? Do you remember last month was like Wither and Ways launch was like what? What was it? Not even nearly this. A hundred fucking million dollars on one platform by the way and yes obviously you know we have uh wither and waves going to other platforms as well and they could be successful that game could be even more successful on playstation wither and waves could be more successful on playstation than anywhere else i will say that because of its skill base because of this combat i think it has a really good chance of actually m getting some momentum on playstation okay I, I will say that as a caveat to wither and waves failure or, or decline but 100 million, or so to speak, for Zenless Zone Zero, a game that wasn't even received well, a game that has a lot of freaking criticism, a game that only had one banner, which wasn't even that great in my opinion. Okay, 100 million dollars right off the gate. That's pretty impressive for a game that wasn't even received. Wither and Waves was hyped to the freaking moon. All right, Love in Deep Space. Watch out for this game. This game is coming out of nowhere, man. This game is extremely popular, and it caters to all those people out there who are desperate and depressed, and there's a lot of them because they watch Tectone. They watch Asmingle. They watch Hassan. They watch all these content creators, and they love, fall in love with them, and they fall in love with Love in Deep Space as well. It is what it is. Okay, Naruto Mobile, I have no idea what this game is, but it continues to make it. Dragon Ball Z, Doken Battle, again, I must have had some kind of special deal going on there. Monster Strike, don't know what that is. Genshin Impact, okay. We're seeing the decline of Genshin. We're seeing the decline of Honkai. Uh, we're seeing the decline of, like, this is, this is massive. Like, this is, this is some very, very bad swings. Uh, and I think Zenless Zone Zero took a lot of that obviously market share away from the other Hoyaverse games, which I don't think they were expecting. But if you want to ask me, is Hoyaverse oversaturated? This confirms it. Zenless Zone Zero was probably something they should have left in the bag for a couple more years because I think this will hurt um, their entire ecosystem here. It just is now as a cookie cutter experience. Everybody has the same old stuff. That's why Zenless Zone Zero is not getting you know, any kind of praise or accolades for whatever it is, even though it's basically a cook cutter experience. Um, it's because of all of the ones that have come before it. And they're basically it's the same old, same old, same old, same old. And people are just getting so damn tired of it. And so, yeah, I think this is going to affect Hoyoverse overall. Obviously I think these numbers can go up depending on what banner co comes out, but 
Um, I don't see that Honkai is going to get an increase in, in 2.4. Uh, I, I just don't, I don't see it. The, the banners are not that impressive to me. I'm not spending money in this game. I'm not even playing Honkai right now. And that, and this reflects it. Genshin, who knows what's going to happen with Genshin. I, apparently there's going to be a new, a new character coming out, but uh, with all the controversy, um, all the race swapping and all the culture stripping that they've done, um, in their new, in their new, uh, area, it's probably not going to go over well. We have Nikkei holding strong at 16 million. That game has been steady as a freaking ship on steady on cl on calm water. Dragon Ball Legends again. Uh, Dragon Ball is very very popular uh, things. This is Wither and Waves coming in at the tail end here, at the bottom here. Again, this is uh, this is not good for Wither and Waves either. I mean, there's no excuse for this. In in like games like Genshin, games like Honkai, games like Zenless don't actually help Wither and Waves because it's all the same shit, um, in my opinion. Uh, let's see. Uma, like, I don't know any of these. Fake Grand Order, 10 million. They, they must have had a really good collab. That's great. I, I'm here. I'm, I'm hoping that games that I like are going to actually rise above. Solo Level and Rise has continuously dipped, but it had a strong start, and it's not as big as a game like Wither and Waves, and it doesn't need to be, but this is not a good sign for this game either. We'll see how they do it. We'll see how they correct course. I don't think they've had any collabs or anything like that, and it's kind of still early. Blue Archive apparently has something going on, and I don't know what it is, but it's gotten a lot of people that are content creators uh, into it. Again, Fake Grand Order uh, is right there, uh, the top. Um, wait, wasn't it already up here before, or did I make a mistake? Okay, well, anyway. fake Yeah, right there. Fake Grand Order for Global, and then Fake Grand Order for China. Uh, doing pretty good. Epic 7 had a good month last month, and I'd say that's... Because of the strong units. So this indicates that if this game actually does release broken units, the community is there. Seven million for a game that's been in, you know, for, for something like Epic Seven is pretty damn good. That shows that there's signs of life here. Summoner's War took a dip. There's no longer the 10th anniversary. Arc, Arc Knights continues to fall. Snowbreak increased. I guess uh, a lot of community is really rallying against Snowbreak. They're doing a lot of good things. We have Love and Deep Space just killing it. Just killing it. Green everywhere. Okay. Even in, even global. Global's now catching on. AFK Journey, dude. This game ain't lasting, bro. This game ain't lasting. Two games I quit. Wither and Waves, AKF Journey. So far, you know what? I don't want things to fail. But at the same time, when you're right, you're right. When you're right, you're right. All right. When you're right, you're right. I, I mean, I'm playing games that are failing. I'm playing Astro Knights of Veta. Okay. That game's failing. I'm still playing it, though. Smaller company. I, I, have, I have a lot of hopes for that. You know, AFK Journey is little games, and they're not a small company. They've made all the money from AFK Arena and stuff like that. So this is a, this is a failure to them, in my opinion. Fire Emblem Heroes, one of the steadiest ships on the sea as well. Reverse 9099 is going nowhere uh, fast. A lot of these things down here afk arena oh well global stayed steady at two mil but that ain't gonna help them uh blue archive global wasn't as successful let's go epic it's in the green at least you know uh in china china still has not it has not permeated that market and that's unfortunate it needs to in order to be super successful ever crisis what a shame what an absolute shame i stopped playing that game as well i don't care i'll go i'll go back to ever crisis in like a year I'll play all the single-player Final Fantasy VII story modes, and I'll be very happy and content with that, okay? That's my plan with that game now. Um, it ain't getting no more of my money. It barely got any of my money to begin with compared to a, a Final Fantasy product. It should have got more, but it did not. Uh, AFK Arena, yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for Astra. I don't see Astra yet. This is not good for Astra at all. Astra is basically... Here we are. Okay! Astro Global made 100,000 more than it did last month. So we're on the up. But the problem is, it in the update that was supposed to revitalize this was on the 11th of June or July. I'm very scared. The fact that it's still up here is good, but it's... it's uh, it's I don't see the other one. Is there a... I think it's a Japan release of um, Astro, right? Did I miss it? I might have missed it. Anyway. 
there was definitely two asterisks. I'm pretty sure. But maybe not. I mean, it's a game that I want to do very well that is not. So I'm not. it's not like I don't play games that are not successful or that I think might have EOS sooner rather than later. But I do hedge my bets, right? I'm enjoying Astra. And I think more people should play Astra. I think more people should see Astra, even though they've, they've increased their monetizations. It's a little bit more pay to win. The PvE content in that game is actually there, and it's solid. Um, so for me, I think there's a possibility for it to to come back up and actually uh like just like um snowbreak is and all these other games that are are you know eventually they had a bad they had a bad thing and then they're bringing it back up that's what i hope astra has i hope it has a a long a long arc so that's the update for july for your gotcha games and let me just tell you they're not even important oh that's right previous months yeah, yeah. So I mean, we're we're dealing with a with a huge decline in Hoyoverse other products. I think there's an oversaturation now because of Zenless Zone Zero. It's just it oversaturated the Hoyoverse's universe. Uh, Love and Deep Space keeps on killing it. Whatever Numeruto Moto Mobile is is good. And yeah, Wither and Waves, uh, AFK Journey. Uh, yeah, they're pre they're basically dead. And I made a video about them two weeks, two two a month ago, two months ago, whatever it was that I quit those games. And let let me tell you, I feel vindicated. All right, so keep on listening to the Tectone. Keep on listening to the shell that is Tectone. And uh, I guarantee you, you're going to be steered in the wrong direction. My name is Fuzuki. If you'd like to comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.